Let's get right to this breaking news. A Chicago police officer shot three times during a traffic stop that left his partner dead is finally going home. A big crowd gathered to cheer on officer Carlos Yanis Jr. and our CBS 2's Mugo Digwe there in the middle of the celebration. Such a show of support. Mugo. A huge show of support, Audrina. Behind me right now, there's still, I want to say, at least 100 police officers, some in uniform, others not in uniform, and then family members out here as well. You can still hear the mar mariachi band playing, and then they've been passing out these, like, mementos. This bracelet, for example, says Carlos Strong. So a lot of people out here right now just supporting him. In fact, one of the, the officers I spoke to out here says this is sort of a celebration. It's good news after what he says is months and months of getting bad news. So, so many people here very excited. But I also want you to look at this moment, the moment that Officer Carlos Yanez Jr. came out of the rehab center. You can hear the cheering out there. Just a few minutes after that, that's when the mariachi band started playing. So just a lot of support out here for Officer Carlos Yanez Jr. And, you know, you guys mentioned this at CBSN as you were talking about all that he's been through. We know he was left paralyzed and lost an eye. This was after a traffic stop on August 7th at 63rd and Bell in West Inglewood. Ella French, one of his two partners, she was killed in that same shooting. And then later that month, that's when Officer Carlos Giannis Jr. was moved to the Shirley Ryan Center for Rehab. So the community has obviously rallied behind him since then. We're talking about his family. We're talking about fellow police officers coming together just to show their support. A GoFundMe page was set up by his sister and his sister-in-law. And get this, it raised more than 336 thousand dollars that GoFundMe page is still up so that number still counting a Facebook page was also set up for him with people basically posting the hashtag Carlos strong the latest update on that page this was from last month basically said his left hip was getting stronger and that he had advanced to a full diet I feel like my heart is gonna burst you know and uh, like I said I he has so much positivity in him, but all the policemen, FOP, everybody has been so good to the whole family. And I think maybe many of the police can relate because it could be them. So that woman we just heard from, that is his aunt. We got to talk to her this morning. and. We obviously know that this is a good moment for the police department. It's a good moment for his family, but there is a long road ahead to fully healing. For example, she did tell us that one of the bullets is still stuck in his neck. It was shattered. It's still there. They were not able to remove it. And even though he's leaving rehab, the rehab center today, he is still going to undergo rehab at home for outpatient rehab. And she says it's probably going to be, what, six to seven hours each day just working with uh, a medical people from uh, the rehab center here hoping that he continues to get better, continues to improve, and continues to heal. So even as we see a lot of the officers here who came out to support him as he was put into the car uh, to leave the rehab center, we know that there is still a long road ahead for him. But just a great moment, a good moment of uh, support, a good moment of just some good news coming out of what was a very, very tragic situation. Obviously, Officer Ella French, his partner, didn't make it. But this is something good that is coming out of all of this. I'll send it back to you guys. Mugo, yes, such an amazing step in his recovery process. As you mentioned, he begins outpatient rehabilitation. So we appreciate those updates. What an amazing moment to see him coming out. Now we want